Curly and uh, usually when people ask me what I do, I say I'm a magician. I started singing when I was really little in the kindergarten and also my grandfather, who is like a self-taught songwriter, he plays every instrument, he became my first singing teacher. So I started going to these singing competitions with him. By the time I was 14, I already got my first record deal. At 16, I dropped out of school because I knew what I wanted to do, so I didn't want to waste any more time. And at uh, 16 years old, I already, you know, moved to Sweden and kind of like started living all over the world and pursuing my dream. And my life pretty much has always been about whatever it is about now. When I first moved to the US, I really didn't want anything to do with Estonia because I didn't feel any real connection over here and I wanted to see the world and I had big dreams and this and that. I think for like the first maybe like five to seven years, I really hardly ever came to Estonia. I'd come maybe once a year to see my family for a few days. Then something changed. I felt a really strong calling to come back to Estonia and to actually experience this country kind of like outside the people or mindsets or whatever it was back then that I didn't like about it. I came back here and I kind of connected with it as an adult, as somebody who was strong, just discovered that there is like a whole new power, you know, that you can't really tap into if you don't know your roots. A lot of the world really functions in a way where we're really cut off from the nature. First time I went to live in my nature house, I think I spent there like seven months at first, kind of like living alone in the nature. The contrast with like the societies living in the city and they're living like that in the nature just felt really, really crazy because most of the things that people do in their everyday life started feeling like really insane to me. For example, stress, the concept and the feeling of stress. The stress in our bodies is actually designed to like save our life if we're in danger. The stress is not really designed to be experienced just because you wake up in the morning and go about your day, you know? So I really started like reprogramming myself. The more I live in the nature, the more I actually focus on my self-care, the more I get to the place where I'm like, wow, like this is a playground. And, and it's an incredible thing to experience, to be alive. I find it really fascinating to create different worlds and to create different characters. So to me, per se, there is really no separation in that sense that something that I show is real and something that I show is not real, you know, it is all real. But me, as the creator that wakes up in the morning, am I gonna like always put on a full makeup and like a crazy costume? No, the creator usually is just much more simple in their appearance. I don't usually waste time on how to say, outworldly looking something because there's so much going on in my head, I'm constantly creating. So all of it is real. 